Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your GK teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your GK class. My dear students, as you know that we are on chapter number 13, Energy and its Resources, and today I will deliver its 8th lecture. And today is the review of chapter number 13. Yani ki hum ye chapter ke tamam student learning outcomes jo hai, wo complete kar chuke hai. So today we will get, I will give you a complete review, a revision of this chapter. But before that, let's quickly recap what we did in the previous lecture. So what are the different sources of energy? Sun, wind, water, coal, oil, gas, these all are natural energy sources. So how can we use different energy sources? So we can use heat and light of sun to generate electricity, we can use wind energy to generate electricity, we can use water to generate electricity, we can use coal, oil um, and natural gas for different purposes like uh, uh, for our vehicles, fuel, for uh, cooking, for heating. So these are different uh, way, ways in which we use these natural, uh, natural sources. So my dear students, uh, these are the student learning outcomes that we have covered in this chapter so far. Uh, so, the Islamic perspective, eat and drink but waste not by excess for Allah loved not the wasters. So, my dear students, we have so resources ya sources hai, my first energy ke aur um, cheezon ke apni needs ko pura karne ke liye. So, we need to use them in ehtiyat se istamal kare, Allah Ta'ala ka shukar ada kare aur cheezon ko waste na kare. Kyunki Allah Ta'ala zaya karne wale logon ko pasand nahi farmate. So my dear students, let's start the review. So in the first lecture, we recognize that energy is required for doing work. So for living things, non-living things, plants, animals, human beings, everyone needs energy to perform different work, uh, to move. So they need energy. So what is energy? Energy is the ability to do work. Okay? Human beings uh, or animals, they need food for energy. Plants need sunlight for energy and non-living things, they need external energy. Yani ki unko bahar se koi energy source chahiye hota hai, jiski wajah se they can move or perform work. So energy is the ability to perform work or to do work. So next was identify natural sources of energy like sun, wood, flowing water, coal, oil and gas. So we discussed one by one about the different energy sources, natural energy sources. We discussed about sun, wood, flowing water. So natural sources of source of energy is sun, wood, flowing water. So all of them have certain type of energy, jiski vijay se jisko hum use karke, uh, or form of different forms of energy jo hai, wo generate karte hai, taake hum unko daily basis pe use kar sake. So, uh, we used the sun, ko use kiya, wood, ko use kiya, water energy, we used um, coal and oil, we used the energy to produce our vehicles, and because your vehicle or your car is non-living, and what is the energy to use to move or work, what is the energy to use? Fuel. And this fuel is a natural source, and this is a natural source. So, understand that sources of energy are used for many things, move and object, heating, lightning, transportation, electric appliances, etc. So, these uh, different energy sources are used for different things, such as to move things, heat to generate, uh, light to use, transportation to one place to another place, electrical appliances to use, your fridge, TV, AC, all these uh, energy से चलती है, electrical energy से चलती है, so और ये electrical energy जो है, ये किसी ना किसी तरीके से generate की जाती है, coal से, oil से, पानी से, wind से, solar energy से, so my dear students, uses of energy हमने पढ़े, इसके बाद, now is the time for practice, now I will evaluate you through this worksheet, which you can download from the description box below this video, or you can get it in print form by your teacher, so my dear students, you have to answer some questions, so that I can evaluate you that you have है this chapter. Se sikha hai. So what is energy? You have to define energy. Then enlist the sources of energy. We have different sources of energy. Padhe hai, unke naam what type of energy does sun provide? Sun has which energy that we can convert in electrical energy. Mein convert kar sakte How can we use wood as energy? Wood se aap kaise energy lete 
हाउ वाटर एंड विंड हेल्प अस टू अवेल एनर्जी पानी से और हवा से आप कैसे एनर्जी ले सकते हैं वट इज कॉमन यूज ऑफ कोल ऑयल एंड नेचुरल गैस इन तीनों का क्या नेचुरल कॉमन यूज है कहाँ पर ये यूज होते हैं वट आर द यूज ऑफ एनर्जी सोर्सेज डिफरेंट जो एनर्जी सोर्सेज के यूजेज हैं जो हमने लास्ट में इस चैप्टर में पढ़े थे उनके आपको नेम्स लिखने हैं सो दिस इज वेरी इजी रीड आउट द क्वेश्चन वेरी केयरफुली एंड देन आंसर दें पॉज द वीडियो एंड कंप्लीट द वर्कशीट Submit this worksheet to your teacher for grading and evaluation. Now we will move forward towards your homework. So, my dear students, discuss with your parents the importance of energy and energy sources in our life. So, you have to talk to your parents about different energy sources. And then, what is the importance of our life? You have to discuss with them about their energy sources. So, let's see what is your point of view. What is their point of view? एक दूसरे के इन्फॉर्मेशन में इजाफा कीजिएगा सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इट्स टाइम फॉर रैप अप सो नाउ ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स आर एबल टू टेल दैट एबिलिटी टू डू वर्क एज एनर्जी सन वुड वाटर फ्लोइंग वाटर विंड कोल पेट्रोलियम ऑयल एंड नेचुरल गैस आर नेचुरल सोर्सेज ऑफ एनर्जी एंड एबिलिटी टू मूव ट्रांसपोर्टेशन मूवमेंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड यूज ऑफ एनर्जी सोर्सेज सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स हमने डिफरेंट फ़ायदे पड़े एनर्जी सोर्सेस के डिफरेंट एनर्जी सोर्सेस के नाम पड़े कैसे जो है वो एनर्जी जनरेट की जाती है हमने प्रोजेक्ट्स भी इसके ऊपर किए हमने एनर्जी क्या है लिविंग थिंग्स के लिए नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स के लिए इस पे भी हमने बात की आई होप बाय नाउ यू नो व्हाट इज़ एनर्जी एंड हाउ वी कैन जनरेट इट एंड हाउ वी यूज़ इट सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स कीप एवरीबडी अराम यू सेफ हैव अ गुड डे थैंक यू सो मच एंड अल्लाह हाफिज़